Let's talk for a minute about the planning process. We all think of brainstorming as one certain thing, right? Maybe we just jot down a bunch of ideas or we draw some pictures. Maybe we've got some different random things going on. We've got maybe circle maps. We've got all sorts of things going on. But really, let's think about the creative process when we write. Sometimes we spark creativity by taking down notes from um, something that's going on around us. So oftentimes we'll read a book or an article or see something and that'll make us think about something in a different way than we thought about before. So maybe we just jot down a note or draw out a little illustration or some sort of drawing going on there. So there's a lot of different ways to do the brainstorming process. Um, really, let's think about kind of going back and thinking about what kind of thinking is going on during that time. So what that means is, is that you need to Take your student and allow them to ask questions, to build those questions to guide their thinking as they go in, right? And it's not just a singular process, right? Oftentimes we think our way through the instruction of we're going to brainstorm, then we're going to draft, and then we're going to finalize, and we're not going to follow that linear process, right? We may think about a topic for a while. We may come up with some ideas. We may start writing, or we may just start free writing, and then we go back and we edit some of those ideas as we go. We don't necessarily have to have this linear process when it comes down to writing. What we do need to know is that our brain needs time to process different ideas and dig a little deeper, and we need some structures or some strategies to do that. One of those may be listing down ideas. One of those may be illustrating. Something else may be going and getting um, something that's related to the subject that you're doing and trying to use that to spark or drive interest. So there are a lot of ways to do it. So think about those things. So remember, brainstorming is this iterative process where we do it, we may come back to it, we may just start writing and then have to come back and brainstorm a little deeper on one thing or one subject. So really think of it in terms of when you're working with your writer that pausing on something asking some questions, getting more information, and then coming back to it is a form of brainstorming. So we may, we may list ideas, we may free write, we may um, illustrate some things, and we may get some other tools uh, to help us out. So illustrate, free write, listing, and getting other things to um, spark our interest. So that may look like video or media or um, some additional text. So think about those things and drive it home with your students. Let's jump into our writing. Let's get on in there. Let's do some work today. It's gonna to be awesome. One of the things we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about um, doing some thought process behind what we're doing. So we've talked about brainstorming before, planning, the planning process. Um, and so I really wanna use that term planning and thinking through that. So there's a lot of ways and a lot of opportunities to do that. Some of you may have done listing before. Some of you may have just free writing, which is where you just write and write and write as many ideas as come to your head. Some of you may have illustrated, right? And sometimes we may be asking questions or responding to some questions to really think about. So today we are going to be writing about um, something very special to us. We're going to be writing about the coolest person that we know. So I want you to think about describing this person in terms of personality, in terms of who they are, right? So we think a lot of external characteristics, right? So things on the outside. So the way that somebody looks, the way that they um, maybe move around, the things that they say, right? But we also want to think about those inside characteristics when we're describing somebody. So I want you to do something really quickly. I want you to pause and I want you to list those external characteristics of that coolest person you know. So think about the coolest person you know, write down what you're thinking, maybe their shoes, maybe their hat, maybe the way they smile, maybe they got some sweet rims on their glasses. Who knows? I don't know. Write that down, list that, take about two minutes and list that. Pause the video, then come on back. All right, I hope you're back. I hope you did some listing. Okay, so now we're gonna try out a different technique. We're gonna try out something called where we free write. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about those emotional characteristics. I want you to think about those emotion words. Um, and actually we're gonna do some free illustrating. I'm sorry, instead of free writing next. So I want you to draw emojis. I want you to take some emojis and I want you to draw some em mini emojis for what you think about their personality, whether it's a smiley face because they're happy all the time, whether you've got the, the frowny face because they're sad, maybe it's the guy with the cool glasses because you think they're just cool and collected all the time. Draw three emojis that define this person. All right, your 
there we finally have some ideas so let's jump in and let's do some writing so i want you to jump on in and i want you to start writing i want you to just start writing as you go write and describe this person who they are both on the inside and the outside and why that's important get in there get ready get set write